If your bandsaw blade keeps popping off the wheels during operation, odds are it's been incorrectly installed. In this demonstration, we'll be showing you how to correctly track and tension a bandsaw blade. For this, we'll be using the Win 14-inch bandsaw. However, the same procedure would be followed for other Win bandsaws as well. First, remove the guide rail by loosening the four mounting knobs found underneath the table. Next, open up the doors of the bandsaw, revealing the two 14-inch wheels inside of the body. After that, drop the upper wheel down by turning the tension release lever on the back of the saw. If your bandsaw doesn't have a tension release handle, just use the tension adjustment knob at the top of the saw. Feed the fresh bandsaw blade through the slit in the table, making sure the teeth are facing the same direction as the bandsaw's rotation. Insert the blade through the blade guard on the right hand side of the machine. After that, feed the other side of the blade through the neck of the bandsaw on the left hand side of the unit. Once the blade has been fed through these two areas, align it around the top and bottom wheels, making sure the blade rests in the middle of the wheel's rubber tire. After the blade seems like it's correctly centered on the two wheels, make the blade taut by either reactivating the tension release lever or by turning the tension adjustment knob on the top of the machine. Once tension has been reapplied, turn the wheels by hand to see if the blade wanders to one side or the other. If the blade wanders, you'll have to adjust the angle of the top wheel by turning the blade tracking adjustment knob in the back middle of the machine. Turning this knob adjusts the angle of the upper wheel. Finding the right angle is all about trial and error, so just keep at it until you get the blade running consistently in the middle of the wheel. Once the blade seems to be running as it should, properly tension it using the tension adjustment knob. The Win 14 inch bandsaw features a tension guide to help measure proper tension for your particular width of blade. You should also always check that the blade isn't too tight by making sure it has around a quarter inch of play. After that, set up the lower blade guide to support the blade during operation. The knob on the right adjusts the guide bearings. These should be positioned along the middle of either side of the blade. The knob on the left adjusts the thrust bearing, which supports the back of the blade. This bearing should be positioned roughly a half a millimeter away from the back of the blade. Finally, reinstall your throat plate your guide rail, and shut your bandsaw doors. As with anything, practice makes perfect. So just be patient for your first couple of tries until you get the hang of it. Remember when you could properly change and install bandsaw blades? Remember when.